I, I think everything's important and nothing's important. Man, this means the most in the world to me, and I know also it means absolutely nothing. Leading up to my shows, I get stressed. I feel frantic. It's just part of who I am. It's been that way for years. This show, I felt it because I had too many ideas. I want to be proud of my shows. I want them to be a cohesive body of work that has individual works that stand on their own. I hope to use art as dialogue, as communication. I want people to look at my art and it causes people to talk about things. I know where I want my art to go. I'm comfortable people reading my paintings at whatever level they want. If they see it as, huh, that's funny, fine. If they want to see it, that there's a heck of a lot deeper in it, there absolutely is. I'm a painter. I want people to look at my art and go ahead, figure it out from that. <laughs> my creative process begins with ideas. I am known as a realist painter, but I actually don't care about realism. I want the illusion to work enough to convey my ideas. And that's unreal. I want people to come and look at this show and go, something's a little off about this realist. Uh, I still use realism as a technique. I want people to look at it and believe it's real. I don't care if it is real. Realism is a good tool for me to do it. I have so many reoccurring themes in my work and, and one of them is excess. So something like the bananas with don't even think it, uh, it starts off the excess uh, ideas that I have throughout my sketchbooks. And I do have somewhat thematic things that I go through there. There's a gluttony and excess and different things that pop up all the time. On a technical level, I do try to challenge myself still. I mean, that's just part of the process as an artist. And a piece like uh, Creators, uh, I didn't have all those balloon dogs floating in midair. Uh, I had to think about the shadows. I had to try to figure out what's light doing through them. So it's just part of the process of, of having fun and challenging myself. Uh, another piece like that would be Spotlight, where I painted Elvis bobblehead in the dark. Uh, it's a challenge trying to figure out how to get my studio lit that way to see it, because I do set up that stuff. So just a chance to really, uh, how am I going to pull this off and get people to believe it's true? My balloon dog feast paintings, as I call them, are probably my most organic paintings in that I really don't quite know what's all on the table when I start out. It grows. and. In some ways, they're the ones I like to do between other paintings because I can just be, I can have some fun and I can be free. Sometimes there's paintings I paint that I find really funny. I don't know whether other people will or not. Uh, I have two paintings in this show that I have my own shadow in the way, which I just find that hilarious to think that people, can this person please move out of his own artwork? As I've matured as an artist and grown as an artist, things that used to matter to me don't, and new things matter to me now. This is just part of the journey. It's one part of it. I want my best painting to be the next one I do. That's just part of this journey.